hello, hello. It is Chi with TarlaMakayev.com. I hope that you're doing amazing this evening. I have been up to quite a bit of work, um, but I wanted to drop in really quickly and say hello, uh, see how you're doing, and also talk to you about a topic that I'm pretty passionate about. I think it's something that we all struggle with at one point or another, and um, not one point or another, but every day, pretty much daily for all of us, right? And that is, do you have, are your, are your beliefs, are they empowering or are they limiting? And really, if you're human, which I know you are if you're watching this, it's definitely not your dog watching this, then um, you have between 45 and 60,000 negative thoughts a day, subconsciously, constantly running through your head, which is why I'm all about, you know, positive affirmations, positive thoughts. But it's um, easier said than done a lot of the time. And I think for the most part, most of us have limiting beliefs. We all have limiting beliefs to some degree, but most of us, I think the majority of the time, we have limiting beliefs. We don't feel like we're good enough and we can't accomplish things. And a lot of times our self-talk is really negative. Um, we talk to ourselves a lot in ways that we would never talk to a friend or never talk to a best friend. And that's a problem because it really can limit you going further in life, right? If you don't talk to yourself positively, the bottom line is, no one else necessarily will. So you're your own best friend and you have to, you know, make a concerted effort to do that. So one thing that I do is, you know, I have post-it notes around my house with positive thoughts, but another thing I, I try and try and positive sayings, but another thing I really try to do, um, and, and I just wanted to give you this, this short exercise and of course a beautiful view of the beach here, even though it's, it's a little bit gloomy, but it's still beautiful, right? Is that, um, when you, so you're going to have a lot of thoughts throughout the day that are just subconscious, that are negative, and you're never going to realize it because, like I said, it's subconscious. Um, and you're having these thoughts when you're doing other things, when you're working, when you're eating, when you're sleeping, probably even when you're, you know, putting on makeup, when you're reading, just in the back of your mind, going almost like your computer, you know, running in the background. So this week, something that you can do to make, you know, your life a little bit better is to just be extra aware just for the next week because there's so much you know negativity going on right now in the world and it, it's there's a lot of heaviness and so uh there's extra things that we have to fight against right in order to remain positive so i just challenge you this in the next week try to be a little bit more aware so you're not gonna you're not gonna catch all your negative thoughts it's just not possible because like i said your brain's like a computer running constantly but when you are doing whatever you're doing Whenever you catch yourself having a negative thought, like, I'm a loser, I can't do this, there's someone better than me for this, you know, they have all the success, good things don't happen to me, you know, I'll never make it, this is not going to work out, you know, why does nobody like me? Whatever negative thought may run through your head, whether it's in regards to business, personal relationships, whatever, uh, make a concerted effort this week to note any thought that you you are aware of that's negative that comes into your head and we all have those moments where you, you just think something negative and you you realize kind of after the fact that you did take a notebook you know for this a page out of a notebook and just every day write down monday through sunday and every day write down whatever negative thought you remember that came into your head that day and make a note of that and just do that every day. Don't worry about anything until the end of the week. So you're just notating the negative thoughts because I think it's very important to be more aware of what you're thinking. And sometimes we have these flashing thoughts and we remember we thought something, but we don't, we're not super aware that that's what's actually running through our head and how negative and how, um, how just destructive it is. So do that. And then at the end of the week on Sunday, go through everything that you had written down and go down one by one, and I want you to write the complete opposite thought of what you wrote. If you wrote, I'm a loser, write, I'm a winner. If you wrote, no one likes me, write, everyone likes me. Literally write the opposite thought that is an empowering thought instead of a limiting thought. And just go through, and I, I'm telling you, if you do this for a week, you're going to realize like, oh my God, a lot of negative thoughts from my, through my head. And again, it happens to everyone. If you're human, this happens. I, I just think we're not as aware of it. Of course, if you have a good week and you don't have any negative thoughts, 
then maybe you were just in a great mood that week and that's great and maybe that was an exceptional week. And if you have a week like that, try it the following week. And just be aware because I think it's important if you do have certain negative thoughts, they're probably reoccurring. It's probably not a one-time thought. And then if you put the opposite thought, a positive thought, and you think that again, you can always remember, you know, and in writing down kind of solidifies things in your mind and it kind of makes it, it cements it more in your brain. That's why you want to write it down versus just think it. You can, you can always go back to that notebook and say, this is the positive thought for that. But really you'll, you'll know automatically, but I think it's important just to be aware so that you can start to make your beliefs more empowering. If, particularly if you, you tend to have a lot of limiting beliefs. And like I said, we all do, this is not uh, one person, this is not that this just happens to people here and there. It happens to all of us. Um, no matter how successful you are, no matter how much money you have, no matter how many wonderful things in your life, we all have somewhere deep down inside where, you know, we are lacking some self-esteem. And that really comes from, you know, when we grew up and things that happened in our childhood and the smallest little micro things that happened can have the biggest impact years later, years to come and we're not truly aware of it. It's buried deep in our subconscious. So I think it's so important to try and retune those thoughts. And this process is basically kind of like cognitive behavioral therapy. So it's like you're taking a thought and you're working through the thought of a different way of looking at it. So it's kind of like you're having the doomsday thought and instead of going with this doomsday way of looking at things, you're turning around and saying, no, but really, like, is this really the truth? Is this really the truth? Is it really true that I'll never succeed? Really? No. That's just how you're feeling in a temporary moment, right? That's just a momentary fleeting feeling. And if it lasts longer for then a moment, then it takes more reprogramming, right? You have to continue to reprogram yourself. But I think, especially right now, there's just so much going on, like I said, in the world that it's important for us to really realize what we're thinking because your thoughts are food for your brain. So your negative thoughts are like eating junk food and your positive thoughts are like eating whole foods. And so you don't want to be eating the junk food for your body and you don't want to have junk thoughts going into your head. You want to be eating the whole food for your body and you want whole thoughts to be going into your head. So super important if you are struggling with your thinking patterns and really unable to break out of them, it starts with journaling about them and that's the hard work. So you have to do some work, hey Luke, in order to reframe those thoughts and there's no easy way around it. And this is not a one-time thing that you'll do once. If you're really ambitious then keep this type of journal moving forward for months, do it for a three month period, but like at least start for a week and just kind of see where you're at and to help you start you know, moving your thoughts in a different direction. And I think it will be really, really invaluable. So I hope that this was helpful and I wish you an amazing week. Um, and yeah, just wanted to give you a quick view of the beach here. So have a good one and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.